You wake up to morning silence. The world feels calm for a moment. Your phone blinks with constant notifications. Hundreds of messages fill your screen instantly. Your name appears again and again. Your heart skips, your hands start shaking. You open the first message carefully. A video loads, your face, your voice. You're talking, crying, confessing strange things. You know instantly that's not you. But it looks terrifyingly, painfully real. Every blink and movement fits perfectly. Every word sounds like your own voice. You feel your stomach twist in disbelief. Your friends start calling, asking what happened. Your parents sound broken, confused, disappointed. Online comments explode like wildfire around you. Your reputation burns faster than you can breathe. And you can't stop what's already spreading. Because no one believes your truth anymore. The fake is too perfect to deny. This is the new age of deception. Where trust is fragile and truth unstable. Where a line of code becomes identity. Where your reflection isn't really yours anymore. Deepfakes began as clever entertainment tools. Funny memes, celebrity faces, viral edits everywhere. But fun turned into manipulation and control. Now deepfakes ruin lives and destroy credibility daily. They blur the borders between truth and fiction. They replace memories with machine-made imagination. With just a few photos and clips, AI can clone your entire identity easily. It studies your expressions, tone, and gestures. It learns your rhythm, your laugh, your silence. Then it rebuilds you inside a synthetic shell. Your fake twin begins to live online freely. It speaks when you don't. It acts for you. And the world can't tell the difference anymore. Deep learning models feed on human data constantly. They grow sharper, smoother, and more convincing daily. You can't outthink the system anymore. It studies every shadow, blink, and breath. Detection tools try to chase the illusion. But AI evolves faster than defenses can adapt. Every filter breaks, every patch fails eventually. Truth keeps losing this endless digital war. Imagine a world where nothing feels real. Where every photo, every video can lie. Where you question even your loved one's face. That world isn't far, it's already here. A finance manager once got a call. He heard his boss demanding an urgent transfer. The voice sounded warm, confident, and familiar. He obeyed instantly and sent the money. Hours later, he realized the truth too late. That wasn't his boss, it was I. A cloned voice cost the company millions. One phone call destroyed years of trust completely. These scams work because we trust voices deeply. We react faster to sound than reason. Familiar tones make logic disappear instantly. Fear and urgency make us skip verification. That's how manipulation becomes invisible and easy. But this danger isn't limited to businesses. Ordinary people are losing everything overnight. Fake videos ruin careers and marriages brutally. False confessions spread faster than clarifications ever can. Online mobs don't wait for truth anymore. They see, react, and destroy without hesitation. Because to them, seeing still means believing. Soon, you won't trust your own memories. You'll question news, evidence, even your reflection. Truth will become just another online opinion. And the internet will decide what's real. How can you defend yourself in this chaos? Start with awareness. Always think before reacting. If a video shocks you, pause immediately. Ask yourself, who gains from this clip? Could it be synthetic? Could it be scripted? That pause could save your reputation someday. Protect your voice like your password always. Don't post long voice clips publicly anywhere. Avoid random speaking samples or recordings online. Treat your voice and image as private keys. Because soon, those keys will unlock your destruction. Companies must build strict verification systems now. Never approve money transfers through voice alone. Use video calls, written confirmation, or secure channels. 
Add multi-layer verification for sensitive financial actions. Train every employee to verify and question calmly. Leaders should limit their digital presence intentionally. Avoid long public interviews or live stream sessions. Keep official voice recordings minimal and controlled. Rotate passphrases and change communication routines regularly. Create backup verification codes for emergencies too. Governments need stronger regulations against malicious deepfakes. Laws must punish identity-based digital crimes harshly. AI companies must embed visible safety watermarking features. Voice cloning should require strict consent always. Research into deepfake detection must be prioritized globally. But regulations alone can't stop human deception. We must rebuild our relationship with truth itself. Learn to question everything, even what feels real. Understand that digital trust must now be earned. Verification is no longer optional. It's survival. AI can also help defend the truth sometimes. Detection models scan voices for hidden distortions. Cryptographic signatures can verify genuine media authenticity. But these tools need mass adoption and awareness. Without them, fakes will rule every screen. The psychological cost is even more dangerous. Once trust is gone, paranoia replaces reason entirely. People isolate, afraid to share their faces. Relationships crumble under doubt and digital suspicion. So society weakens when evidence becomes meaningless completely. Imagine the future just five years ahead. Fake leaders declaring wars that never happened. False news causing chaos in financial markets. Synthetic celebrities selling products they never endorsed. Fake victims accusing real people of imaginary crimes. Reality will fracture into millions of believable lies. When that happens, truth won't die suddenly. It will fade quietly, drowned by repetition. Each lie repeated becomes memory and belief. And a trust, once broken, never returns easily. So act now before it's too late. Educate others about deepfakes and manipulation techniques. Teach children to verify and question online content. Make awareness a habit, not an afterthought. Because awareness is our last human defense left. Next time a shocking video appears online, don't react. Investigate it calmly first. Check verified sources, official news, or direct communication. Confirm context before spreading emotional mis misinformation online. One pause can stop a global digital wildfire. Deepfakes will keep evolving, smarter each year. They'll blend emotions, backgrounds, and speech seamlessly. They'll manipulate tone, language, and light perfectly. You'll see tears that were never real once. You'll hear voices that never existed before. You'll witness crimes that never happened anywhere. This is the cost of limitless technology. It gives us power but steals our certainty. It connects us but confuses our senses completely. We built machines to mirror humanity, and now they're perfecting our ability to lie. So remember this, truth isn't automatic anymore. It requires effort, patience, and critical thinking. Don't let algorithms decide what you believe. Take ownership of your perception and awareness. Because soon, the screen will betray everyone. The voice on the call might be fake. The face on video may not be real. The confession you hear might be generated code. The proof you trust may be engineered lies. Protect your mind before protecting your account. Guard your identity before it's copied and sold. Trust less, verify more, and pause always. Skepticism isn't paranoia, it's self-defense now. When nothing is real, your awareness is power. When truth fades, your doubt becomes a weapon. Stay alert, stay aware, stay human always. And if this message made you think deeply, share it before someone fakes your reality next. Because deepfakes won't wait, they're already watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay informed, stay awake. The war for truth has only just begun.